If you like Heath Ledger, you should definitely watch our picks for his best movies. Funny, is it funny? <laughs> How's this? Is that funny? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm serious, man. You guys need to keep pushing, man. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus, 2009. Do you dream? Or should I say, can you put a price on your dreams? The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus is a fantasy film directed by Terry Gilliam and stars Heath Ledger, Christopher Plummer, Vern Troyer, Andrew Garfield, Lily Cole, and Tom Waits. Leaving behind a brilliant legacy from acting legend Heath Ledger, The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus is a striking shot at the heart of abstract filmmaking, featuring a breathtakingly genius cast. In the eye of a deadly promise a man made to the devil years ago, his daughter is now in danger. But with a little hope, the young man, Tony, will help him. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just trying to play around, just trying to bond. Thanks, Fine. darling. Just trying to bond. <laughs> okay. That was fun. Yeah, funny, funny, funny. Number nine. A Knight's Tale, 2001. I'm a knight, and I will put myself to the hazard. A knight in your heart, but not on paper, and paper's all that matters to them. A Knight's Tale is a medieval adventure comedy film written and directed by Brian Helgeland and stars Heath Ledger, Mark Addy, Rufus Sewell, Paul Bettany, and Alan Tudyk. Life hasn't offered William much in his medieval world and left him a poor man, but his heart strikes for a beauty way out of his league, so he attempts to fight for his legacy and make it a legend to win her love. Now he must learn how to win the great jousting tournament, which is also quite out of his league. And I'm sorry, but I won't see you led away bound for the stocks. Oh, but you will see me run? No! Damn your pride, William. It is you and only you that will not see you run. My pride is the only thing they can't take but from me! they can take it from you, they can and they will. Number 8. Monster's Ball, 2001. You get out of my goddamn house right now. You understand? Hey! You get out! Come on! Monster's Ball is a 2001 romantic drama film directed by Mark Forster and stars Halle Berry, Billy Bob Thornton, Heath Ledger, and Sean Combs. Sharing a variety of strongly committed performances, Monster's Ball is a hard-hitting Southern drama that explores love in the most unconventional situation. When a depressed and embittered prison guard working on death row falls in love with the wife of a man he has just executed, the two must prove their relationship against all odds. You lousy piece of shit! Get up! What you gonna do? Huh? What you gonna do? See? How you like that, huh? Number 7. Two Hands, 1999. So, um, you're like a strip club guy, hey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no, I've been doing that for a while. Yeah, but, um, I've got a new job. Two Hands is a comedy crime film written and directed by Gregor Jordan and stars Heath Ledger, Brian Brown, and Rose Byrne. Offering a good old ride within the love and crime genre, Two Hands feels fresh through its charismatic cast and interesting setting. Young boy Jimmy works as a strip club promoter in the Red Light District. But when the local gangster boss hires him for a job, which he messes up completely, he must find a pile of cash as soon as possible to save himself and his charming girl. And, uh, you could say I'm moving on. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm, um, yeah, I'm doing, um, I'm working for a guy, you know, just doing odd jobs here and there, that sort of thing. Oh, right. It's like a handyman. Yeah, yeah. Number six. Lords of Dogtown, 2005. Uh, this isn't a library, so uh, it's 10 bucks to browse. You, you got 10 bucks? Lords of Dogtown is a 2005 drama directed by Catherine Hardwick and starring Heath Ledger, Emil Hirsch, and Victor Rasuk. The film follows a group of young surfers in Venice, California throughout the 1970s. The bold Z-Boys become local sensations and find a new practice area to perfect their signature pastime, skateboarding. But what began as a hobby soon became a professional business and puts the cohesion of the group to a test. These are urethane skateboard wheels. 
Hey, you're a what? <laughs> Urethane, man. It comes from oil. From oil? Yep. With these, you can do the same hard turns that you do on your surfboard. Yeah? Yep. You can even climb walls, man, because they grip. They grip? They grip. They grip. Number five. Candy, 2006. Candy is a romantic drama film directed by Neil Armfield and stars Heath Ledger, Abby Cornish, and Jeffrey Rush. Heartbreaking and heartfelt alike, Candy is the affecting story of two young, free-willed minds, an artist and a poet, who suffer from heroin addiction. But when the two are indulged, there might be a new chance for them to find a way out of harrowing downward spirals of pain, suffering, and oppression. Casper, it's Candy. Bring me as soon as you get this. I tried your mobile. Um, I know we said to ignore us while we did this. It's been three days. Um, we did pretty well. We're not feeling so great now. Um, we don't want you to ignore us now. Number four. The Patriot, 2000. Who carried this? I did, sir. The Patriot is a historical fiction war film directed by Roland Emmerich and stars Mel Gibson, Heath Ledger, and Jason Isaacs. Combining action-adventure with the clever questioning of concepts like heroism, The Patriot follows a passionate farmer who is forced to join the American Revolution. When everything he has is taken from him, he and his patriotic son face the vicious redcoats and showcase how their stubborn pride may doom them all. Take this one to Camden. Here's a spy. Hang him, put his body on display. He's a dispatch rider, and that's a marked case. Destroy the livestock. Save the horses for the dragoons. Colonel, this is a uniformed dispatch rider and carrying a marked case. He cannot be held as a spy. Well, we're not going to hold him. We're going to hang him. Number three. Ten Things I Hate About You, 1999. I heard there was a poetry reading. You're so... Charming. Wholesome. Unwelcome? Ten Things I Hate About You is a 1999 romantic comedy film directed by Gil Junger and stars Julia Stiles, Heath Ledger, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and Larissa Olenek. Popular pretty Bianca Stratford is in a dilemma. A family rule forbids her from dating until her rebellious and boy-hating older sister Kat gets a suitor of her own. In an attempt to win Bianca, a potential boyfriend desperately attempts to set Kat up with another rebel who may just be able to win Kat's heart. You're not as mean as you think you are, you know that? And you're not as badass as you think you are. Ooh, someone still has her panties in a twist. Don't for one minute think that you had any effect whatsoever on my panties. Then what did I have an effect on? Other than my upchuck reflex, nothing. Number two. Brokeback Mountain, 2005. I wish I knew how to quit you. Then why don't you? Brokeback Mountain follows the forbidden love story of two young cowboys. Set in 1963, the film follows the lives of Ennis and Jack as they try to hide their true selves and continue with their normal lives. The film was directed by Ang Lee and received critical and commercial acclaim. The film was released in 2005 and stars Heath Ledger as Ennis and Jake Gyllenhaal as Jack. Yeah, we'll try this one. And I'll say it just once. Go ahead. Tell you what, we could have had a good life together. Fucking real good life. Had us a place of our own. But you didn't want it, Ennis. So what we got now is broke back now. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Steady. Excuse me, you there. Would you mind coming and holding my horse's thing? All right. So you're basically a chauvinist. Why, because I think guys and chicks are different? Come on, that's all I'm saying, and they are. You know, they each have access to different kinds of pain, which is pretty much why chicks can never be poets. I don't conquer, I submit. I've never sought glory as a lover. Well, what then, Senor Casanova? Do you seek? A moment that lasts a lifetime. Number one. The Dark Knight, 2008. I only have one question. Where is 
Harvey Dent. The Dark Knight is a 2008 superhero film directed by Christopher Nolan and stars Christian Bale, Michael Caine, Heath Ledger, Gary Oldman, Aaron Eckert, Maggie Gyllenhaal, and Morgan Freeman. It is difficult to say what makes this movie so iconic, because there is so much. Unbelievably written, masterfully crafted, The Dark Knight puts to screen probably the most famous movie villain of all time. This character study of Batman explores the character's deepest nature while telling a dark, twisted, and incredibly suspenseful story of crime. If we don't deal with this now, soon, little uh, Gamble here won't be able to get a nickel for his grandma. Enough from the clown! Ta -ta 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 -ta. Let's not blow this out of proportion. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.